everybody. Welcome to a special episode of the WCPO High School Insider Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Dyer. We're here at the Kenwood Town Center Chick-fil-A, the sixth and final special event previewing the high school football season around the greater Cincinnati and northern Kentucky Chick-fil-A restaurants. But before I get started, I definitely want to give a special shout out to operator Garth Truder and his entire family for the hospitality. As always, we always love coming to the Kenwood Town Center location, and uh, this year is certainly first class as always. So again, sincere thank you to Garth. Uh, as uh, we continue with this podcast, I'm speaking with 15 coaches overall from around the area over these six special events. And uh, before we get started with the Indian Hill football team, we're uh, going to remind you this WCPO High School Insider podcast is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Enjoy a free Chick-fil-A original chicken sandwich. You can see right behind me. Enjoy a free Chick-fil-A original chicken sandwich in the Chick-fil-A app August 21st through the 31st. And we're going to highlight Indian Hill, Moeller, and Sycamore here on the podcast today. And uh, starting us off, we're pleased to be joined by Indian Hill head coach John Rodenberg. And he brought along three of his seniors, senior quarterback John Potagil, senior defensive back and wide receiver Danny O'Brien, and also senior offensive lineman, defensive lineman Gabe Oaks. And uh, coach, thanks uh, for taking a few minutes here and uh, talking about the Braves and the football program. And uh, tell us a little bit about your second season here at Indian Hill as head coach, and uh, what do you like most about the team this summer as we head into uh, week one next week? Well, you know, we're really excited. Um, I think the biggest thing I was excited about is our game 10 last year. You know, we, we, we had a very, very small senior class of about two or three guys. So we had 21 uh, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen starting for us last year. And, you know, and, and, and we took our lumps, but that last game, you know, we came out and won a big game and it really carried over into the winter. Um, I saw a lot of confidence and, and sometimes you don't get that when you lose games. Um, I don't think our guys ever dropped their head and that, that's what really excited me about this. You know, we went into uh, winter workouts, we went into spring workouts. Our guys know what it means to play. They know how to win. Um, we took our lumps last year and, you know, we're ready to go this year. I know you're always emphasizing the weight room, Coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about this winter and this spring and, and maybe that effort from your team in the weight room and just getting ready for conditioning and everything that goes into uh, the summer practices. Well, you know, it's always been a foundation of our program, you know, the weight room, and our guys really bought into it. I, and I think they were always bought into it. They were certainly bought into it last year when I got the job, but I thought this year they, they kind of you know went extra hard uh, we got really strong this year. I, I'm impressed with our numbers, and uh, I'm impressed with where we're at. We carry it through the summer, and uh, you know we still go four days a week now. And we'll continue to go four days a week through the season, just because I think it's so important, and I think it is what gives uh, it gives you that edge, especially as you get into the end of the season, if you can maintain your strength. Indian Hill opens the season against visiting Roger Bacon on August 18th. John, I want to bring you into the conversation a little bit about your senior year here. Tell us some of your thoughts about this summer and what you like most about uh, what you and your teammates are doing. Uh, yeah, it's been great. You know, we have pretty much all our guys back, and um, it's really helped us, like, kickstart quicker than we were last year. You know, we, ha we know everything, and, uh, you know, we have a lot more experience, so guys know where to be and what to do. So, no, it's been great. Um, definitely, definitely ahead of schedule. Sure. Missing most of your junior season, obviously, due to injury. I mean, how special is this senior season for you upcoming? How much have you thought of that? Yeah, no, um, you know, when the, the game gets taken away from you, it, it puts into perspective, like, how much you really love it. And, um, you know, it hurt watching from the sidelines, but, you know, I got stronger, faster over the off season, and, uh, you know, I can't wait. Gabe, I want to kind of bring you into the conversation here a little bit. Tell me what you've noticed about the team this summer and what gives you optimism as you guys head into week one. Yeah, I, uh, I absolutely think that, you know, this summer we've kind of been rolling, um, getting to know each other even more on a deeper level. Having everybody kind of return um, has been a big, big piece for our team. 21 out of 22 starters, it's a huge thing for us. Um, but having, you know, John back as well um, from a big injury last year always kind of helps us, um, you know, to keep growing as a team and to keep that chemistry up. You know, I'm, I'm excited to get to Roger Bacon that week one, for sure. Danny, uh, what's it been like to play for Coach Rodenberg? Uh, he's definitely brought up the intensity level a lot in the weight room. Uh, kept us going on the field too. Kept us uh, locked in. Yeah. 
Uh, Coach, can you talk about each three of these guys and uh, why you brought them today and what they've meant to the, to the team so far? Well, you know, ever since I got a job, they've been three leaders. They're guys that never miss the weight room. Um, they're kind of relentless in their, in their effort. And, uh, you, and I always tell the guys I'm going to reward that. Uh, they practice hard. Um, they're good leaders, good guys in the classroom, and uh, good guys in the community, which is important to me. I think if you're a good person in the community, along with your effort, you know, it's going to pay off. And, and uh, these are three guys that they never put their head down. You know, John, he was hurt last year, but he was still with our team every game, uh, rooting us on, standing on the sideline. And uh, yeah, that's important. You know, if you never put your head down, if you've got great effort, you've always got a chance. Tell us a little bit about the CHL uh, this season, Coach. What, what do you, when you kind of look around the conference, obviously ultra competitive. Um, what do you see week in and week out? I, obviously, you open up a couple non-conference games, but uh, when you kind of look at a snapshot of the conference itself, what do you see? Uh, you know, it's the first time in my career. Well, it maybe the second time in my career I've been in a league with a lot of teams, and, and there's a lot of balance in our league. You know, each each week. With our league, you know, you're checking the injuries, you're checking this, you're checking that, because you know it's going to be a battle. Um, you know, there's about three or four teams around the Indian Hill community that become your rivals. You know, the other places I've been, there's, there's a rival, one rival only. Here, it's like, you know, you got three, four rivals that you got to get up for, and then you got to remind the kids, well, we got a game next week, too. So I think the CHL is very balanced. Obviously, Wyoming has done a fantastic job, and, and and they deserve to be where they're at, and, and those are the, that's the team you got to shoot for. You got to shoot for the team that wins the league. You know, you got to take a look at what they're doing a little bit more. But I also realize that there's four or five other teams that feel the same way. So I think we got a, you know, we got a great opportunity. We got a lot of experience coming back. We got a lot of talent. But until you dethrone Wyoming, you got to keep trying to beat them. John, tell me a little bit about Indian Hill football. If people haven't. Uh watched a game there at, at the stadium, um, maybe not familiar with the program. What makes it so special on a Friday night in front of the community? Yeah, you know, it's a bunch of guys that have been playing with each other for, you know, the last 10, 12 years. And, um, you know, we love one another. And, you know, we, get, we know each other the best and, like, our weaknesses and strengths, so we know how to back each other up and, you know, fill gaps that are needed. Gabe, what's it like for you? What, what's your feeling like on a Friday? Maybe even before the kickoff, what's it like for you? Yeah, um, I think that the environment around, you know, Tomahawk Stadium and being at Indian Hill um, is something that I love about, like, Indian Hill football. Um, you know, coming out on a Friday night um, and, and seeing all the fans and the food truck and, and the cookout before, um, it kind of gets me ready to go. Um, and it makes me enjoy Indian Hill football and makes us play harder and makes us, um, you know, work together even even better. So I think that's I think that's one of the important things about Indian Hill football. How do you think you've improved just from a year ago, Gabe? Um, personally, I just think in strength. You know, I think that um, you know I've gotten a little bit stronger here and then a little bit faster. Um, but you know, getting the playbook down a little bit more, being with these guys, knowing you know the team aspect of um, being together with these guys, like knowing um, I can depend on. Any one of these guys I can depend on my my O line. I can depend on my D line, quarterback, wide receivers. Like I know they're gonna make that catch, and and for sure, like growing in that faith of like knowing knowing what's going going to happen with these guys. So yeah, awesome. Danny, when you put on the uniform as you have on right now, I mean, what's it mean to you? How much pride do you take in playing for the Indian Hill football program and the community? Uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a big honor to get to play for the high school team that you've been watching since you were little. Seeing the guys uh, graduate, you just like, ever since you were little, you wanted to be at that level and play for them. It's just something special. All right, you got the whole entire Kenwood Town Center food court. I'm going to listen to this next answer that I'm about to ask you. What's on your Chick-fil-A order? Danny, I'm going to start with you. Uh, I'd go with a chicken sandwich. Speak right into the mic so everybody can yeah, hear you. That. There you go. Uh, chicken sandwich. Eight-piece nugget and chocolate shake. Very good. All right, Gabe. How about you? Um, I would say the spicy deluxe sandwich meal. I'm a I'm a I'm a bigger guy, so I like all of all the good stuff on that. For Very sure. Very good. Awesome. What about you, John? Yeah, I like the the number one for sure, and then I'll get some of the grilled nuggets every once in a while. So yeah. Good stuff, Coach. Last but not least. Oh, just a chicken sandwich. Love it. <laughs> good stuff. All right.
Coach John Rodenberg, also joined by senior quarterback John Potagil and senior Gabe Oaks and also senior Danny O'Brien. Really appreciate your time perspective. All the best of luck to Indian Hill this season, Coach. Appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.